Hello everyone, my name is Mark Edward Blanton with The Real South Africa. And I am Dr. Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. We have an amazing group trip that you will be interested in. It's with the African Diaspora News Channel, a great YouTube channel gives you great information about what's going on in Africa. But we have a group trip featuring Phil Scott, the host. And the trip is going to take place on March 16th to the 25th. It's going to go to Johannesburg and Cape Town, and yes. it's in 2022. If you're interested in traveling, please send an email to info at therealsouthafrica.com. And we'll see you here in sunny South Africa. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from South Africa. South Africa court blocks Shell's oil exploration. Let me show you this clip, we'll come back and discuss. The South African court blocked Shell from using seismic waves to explore for oil and gas in the Indian Ocean on Tuesday. The court decision handed the landmark victory to environmentalists worried about the impact on whales and other species. The High Court in the eastern Cape Town of Makanda backed a suit filed by conservationists and local groups. Members of the court declared Shell was banned from undertaking seismic survey operations, a decision that had immediate effect. The fossil fuel giant had planned to start exploration over more than 6,000 square kilometers of ocean off South Africa's coast. The ecologically sensitive area, known as Wild Coast, is dotted with a marine stretch that is home to nature reserves. According to a judge, consultations with coastal communities had been substantially flawed, which made Shell's survey application unlawful and invalid. Well done, South Africa. Um, Shell doesn't stop for anything. Like other African countries didn't stop Shell from exploiting them. Like it's so incredibly mind boggling. South Africa is saying no because they didn't want to impact their marine life. They, di they didn't want to hurt their fish and you know their coast and that's, that's awesome. We support that. But there's so many worse things Shell with their oil exploration is impacting in Africa. Like for example, in Uganda, I've talked about this, they kick out uh, people from their land to take that oil, like take from that land. And those people are compensated like $1,000 each. Imagine your ground has oil and shale takes it in a foreign country and they give them $1,000 each. Like it's nothing it's not even just a uh, random land it has oil beneath it it's so 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 sad so to see um south africa saying no actually their court system refusing shell from exploring and disrupting their marine life and that area is just respectable and well done to them and i hope other african countries can start refusing this giants this oil companies from drilling into their grounds and taking um, their resources and giving them pennies while polluting the environment it's so unfair it's about time we start saying no anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am ungil zalalem see you on the next one bye living in america as a black person you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those especially in the white community in our book passive aggressive racism in the system of white supremacy i take you through times in my life when i first started noticing white supremacy we teach you how to recognize it identify it and also counter it in our book this book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.